In the unfathomable depths of the ocean, a forgotten ship lies dormant, carrying within it a secret darker than the abyss itself. This mysterious vessel, the ill-fated Lady Seraphine, lost to the relentless tide of time, bears the weighted history of a doomed voyage. Once a proud testament to the glory of human innovation and ambition, it now stands as a haunting specter, its story etched in rust and salt. In the heart of this watery wasteland, it remains immovable and indefatigable, a somber symbol of a tragic tale whose chapters were penned by hands long silenced. Once a majestic spectacle, the ship now lies desolate and deserted. Its once bustling deck, which echoed with the laughter of sailors and the harmony of life at sea, now stands eerily quiet, haunted by the tragic fate of its crew. The once vibrant energy that pulsated through its halls and corridors has been replaced by a chilling stagnancy, a solemn tribute to the transience of life, and the silence that envelops it is as heavy as the ocean it rests in. The ship, the Lady Seraphine, once a beacon of human endeavor, now stands as a silent monument to a bygone era, its story lost to time. Its hull once gleaming and resplendent is now corroded and worn. The corrosive kiss of the salt water has taken its toll, and its proud form is now but a skeletal echo of its former glory. Within its dilapidated confines, there exists a treasure, a treasure swallowed by the ill-fated ship on its maiden voyage, its value forgotten by the world. Amidst the oppressive darkness it gleams, its allure untarnished by the passage of time, it waits an unclaimed prize, a tantalizing temptation for those brave or foolish enough to challenge the face of the unknown. Yet the rumors speak of a protector. This treasure is not unguarded. It is protected by the very ship that houses it, by the specter of the past that looms over it, and by the ocean that enshrouds it. Whispers of a spectral captain, doomed to guard his lost cargo for eternity, add an eerie chill to the tale. It lies hidden, waiting for the one who can brave the perils, unlock the secrets, and claim it for their own. For within this sunken relic, the haunted Lady Seraphine, a treasure waits, untouched, unclaimed, but fiercely guarded by the ghostly vestiges of its tragic past. Summoning courage, divers descend into the spectral remains of the ship buried deep beneath the ocean's surface. Their hearts race as they surrender themselves to the pull of the enigmatic depths, Encased in protective suits, they transform into aquatic explorers unswerving despite the intimidating and harsh depths that beckon them. They are greeted by the icy grip of the ocean that seeps through their suits, a chilling touch that numbs their skin and penetrates their very souls, a stark reminder of the formidable environment they dare to trespass. The ship, once a grand structure of discovery, now lies in profound silence, its once vibrant soul reduced to an eerie stillness. The hull, marked by the relentless ravages of time, stands as a silent narrator of its past splendor. The divers tread carefully, their torchlights slicing through the murky gloom, revealing the ship's skeletal frame. With each powerful stroke, they submerge further into the ship's ghostly waterlogged corridors. Each twist and turn navigates them deeper into this submerged maze. The corridors, once echoing with laughter and merriment, now resonate with the deafening silence of the abyss. The divers maneuver through these phantom passageways, their intrusion stirring the resting silt, casting it into a swirling ballet in the beam of their torchlights. Each step uncovers more of the ship's sunken secrets. Layers of silt and sediment gently brushed aside, unveiling artifacts frozen in the icy grasp of time. Ancient maps, curios, and personal possessions, each piece silently whispering the ship's history, luring them further into the darkness. At the heart of the ship, they spot it, a treasure chest glittering in the abyssal gloom. Despite the rot and decay that envelops it, the chest's magnificence remains untouched. As they inch closer, their hearts hammering in their chests, the reality of their find sets in. Covered by centuries of marine growth, the chest stands as a physical remnant of the past, a piece of history buried deep beneath the waves. But as they unearth the treasure, something else stirs. An ominous sensation sweeps over as if their discovery has awakened something that lay dormant. The divers can almost hear the ship moan, seemingly opposing their intrusion. With a shared sense of dread, they hastily retreat, leaving the ship and its treasure to reclaim its solitary existence. Their adventure, though, will forever reverberate in the silent depths of the abyss. The serenity of the underwater realm shifts abruptly. What used to be a placid world now trembles as ripples of unease spread through the previously still water. 
The tranquility is violently broken as a dormant power stirs, awakened by the intrusive presence of foreign beings. In the shadowy depths, the water temperature plummets dramatically. An icy chill, alien to the usually warm embrace of the deep sea, infiltrates every corner, every crevice. This isn't the familiar, impersonal cold of the ocean. It is something spectral, something hostile and otherworldly. An incredible energy, alien and terrifying, starts to pulse, spreading its forbidding presence. The water appears overwhelmed, each tide and swell pulsating with a dread that is as icy cold as the surrounding waters. At the heart of the deep ocean, an unearthly light begins to flicker and dance, an eerie spectral ballet of ethereal light that bathes the inky darkness in an unsettling glow. This isn't some ordinary bioluminescent display but a terrifying spectacle that paints a vivid picture of unseen dangers lurking within the abyss. Every flicker of this uncanny light tells a silent tale. Tales of rage, tales of resentment, they echo throughout the dark waters, filling the ocean with a brewing fury. The once vibrant abyss now resembles a haunted, lifeless vault. The living inhabitants have been replaced by ghostly shadows, spectral omens of the wrath that has been stirred. An unseen force like the whispering of a malevolent spirit stirs within this ghastly spectacle. Its rage, long suppressed, starts to smolder. A storm of wrath unleashed, a fury that has been trapped for centuries within the ocean's depths. The divers, uninvited guests in this ancestral domain, can no longer ignore the rising dread. Their joyous laughter, a cruel mockery in the once silent abyss grows hushed, their once jubilant faces becoming masks of fear. They are no longer proud of their discovery but are instead filled with a growing terror of the formidable deep sea. They are starting to understand that their intrusion has awoken something dreadful a wrathful spirit that has lain dormant for centuries. Their excitement is replaced by a chilling realization. They have stirred up a force they cannot understand, much less control. As the spirit shackled to the ship and its amassed wealth swells in incandescent rage, it materializes from the spectral ether, an echo of bygone eras, perpetually yoked to the sunken vessel and the precious bounties it once cradled. Fueled by the biting sting of reprisal and unquenched yearnings, the spirit finds its existence in the gloomy, frigid surroundings, encircled by the cavernous abyss of the sea's profundity. Within the icy embrace of the underwater realm, the spirit agitates ceaselessly, jarred awake by the unwelcome desecrators. The submerged ship, its sacrilegious sanctuary, is defiled by the audacious presence of the divers. Their actions unwittingly ignite the fury of the ancient sentinel, rupturing the tranquility that has stood undisturbed for eons. Consumed by its rage, the spirit unleashes an unseen force that sends seismic ripples of dread across the ocean's depths. The divers, ill-prepared for an encounter of such otherworldly magnitude, to face the full might of the spectral onslaught. This invisible onslaught, an extension of the spirit's wrath, impales them with a terror beyond words, permeating their very marrow, instilling a dread that clenches their hearts. The serene underwater haven, abruptly transforms into an arena of survival. Chaos unfurls. The divers flounder in disoriented fright, their honed routines eradicated amid the onslaught of supernatural terror. Their actions descend into haste and desperation, gasping for the increasingly elusive oxygen with each ticking second. Their movements mirror a primal fight for survival against the inexplicable gravitational pull of the phantom ship. Each effort to ascend feels like a Sisyphean task as the spirit's force persistently drags them towards the ship. Stealing terrified glances back towards the spectral ship, they swim desperately towards the deceptive safety of the surface. The sight of the phantom vessel remains a chilling memento of their paranormal encounter. However, as they ascend, their headcount falls short. A diver, who was still with them just moments ago, has vanished. A haunting silence follows this chilling revelation. Has the spirit claimed its first victim, or does horrifying fate await? The remaining divers surface, their hearts heavy with dread and confusion. They are left questioning their fate, the reality of the treasure they so fervently sought, and the price they might have to pay for their intrusion into the spectral ship's sanctuary. Their journey ends not with triumphant celebration, but with a tragic, complex quandary. They are left staring at a horizon that holds no answers, only the echo of a ghostly encounter and the haunting memory of a comrade lost.